This is BBC News with the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. I'm Samantha Simmons. Another 86 cases of the Omicron variant are confirmed in the UK as the government defends the decision to reintroduce pre-departure COVID tests from Tuesday. I think we want to make sure we take those steps earlier, precisely to avoid the bigger disruption to travel in the economy. The former Republican US Senator and presidential candidate Bob Dole has died at the age of 98. The Pope warns Europe against narrow self-interest over the way countries treat migrants during a visit to Greece. Let us not let our sea be transformed into a desolate sea of death. Remembering Arthur Labinio Hughes, a vigil brings the Solihull Street where he lived to a standstill as a national review is launched into his murder. Anger in the northeast Indian state of Nagaland following the killing of 13 civilians in a botched ambush by security forces. An immense plastic habitat is discovered in an area of the Pacific Ocean dubbed the Great Garbage Patch. And a very warm welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. The latest changes for travellers arriving in the UK have been heavily criticised by the travel industry, who warn that firms will be devastated. Under the changes, passengers will be required to show proof of a negative PCR or lateral flow test taken no earlier than 48 hours before departing for the UK. The changes come into effect early on Tuesday morning. Downing Street says the measures are necessary because of the rise in cases of the new variant of coronavirus. The latest country to be added to the travel red list is Nigeria. From Monday, travellers to the UK will have to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. Our business correspondent Katie Prescott reports.